So I have a question for you. Uh, so from Barb from Pennsylvania and from Oregon, maybe? Uh, she since, said Pennsylvania and Oregon. Pennsylvania and Oregon, <laughs> from both. Uh, since new strains of the virus are more easily transmitted, I heard that we should either buy KF94 masks or wear two masks at a time. Is it true? Is one better than the other? Yeah, we got a ton of mask questions again this week. And I, I had a flashback to the summer where I felt like we were actually just running a like mask promotion page and we tackled almost nothing but mask questions. So um, the reason we're talking about masks again is because we have these new variants of the virus and they appear to be better at infecting people. And as I start to talk about this, I wanna note that the fact that we have new variants that are, that are um, have, higher infectivity does not mean that SARS-CoV has gotten a Twitter account, right? The, the particles are the same size as ever. The basic mechanics of how infection happens are the same, but we need to double down on the strategies that we use to protect ourselves because for reasons that are not yet fully understood, it does seem like these um, new variants are more effective at, um, they're more contagious. They, they're easier to catch, right? So if you've seen the Swiss cheese model of um, public health of infection control, uh, we're going to drop a link to it. It's this idea that um, we have lots of different layers of protection. All of them are weak. All of them have holes in them, right? But when we stack them all together, those holes will not line up with one another and um, we will have better protection. So um, Kai Cooper Schmidt, who is a um, science writer and um, biologist once uh, on Twitter last week was saying that these new variants basically mean that we can afford fewer smaller holes in our cheese, right? So we need to tighten up um, the holes in our cheese. And to answer Barb's question directly, yes, it is time to up our mask game. Um, and what's recommended is either wearing two masks or an N95 or KF94 mask. And I'm gonna get into some details here and then circle back to big picture. Um, I think it's really easy for people to, to like go down a mask rabbit hole and ask, every time we answer a mask question, there's a million more mask questions that come up. And so it is important to, to keep your eye on the, on the big picture here. So first of all, I have props for this. N95 respirators or KF94 masks are the, um, they're basically equivalent to each other. Here's one of each. This one is a, KF94, it's um, K is for Korean, F is for filter. It's a, a filter fabric that will filter um, small particles quite similar to an N95 respirator mask. Um, KF94 masks are cheaper and easier to find. Um, where I am, they're readily available at the drugstore or Costco. Um, one of the other nice things about these is that they come in a children's size and 94 masks do not. Uh, I find them very comfortable. Some people hate them. And um, so, you know, if you can get, if you can get one and try it on and it works for you, these are probably the best masks, best readily available masks that are available for um, wearing one mask and having it be effective. Now, second best would be a surgical mask. This is a surgical mask. Surgical masks are made of usually three layers of special material. They're disposable, they have ear loops. They have a little bendy thing in the nose that helps you get a really good fit. They're very comfortable to wear and they are very effective. So that's second best. Third best would be a cloth mask that has two or three layers, and that would include if there's some kind of filter inside, right? This is my favorite kind of cloth mask. It's called an origami fold. Um, I really like it because it, it fits well over my nose um, and it's comfortable to wear. Mine has a little bendy thing in the nose that helps it stay close under my glasses. So it's a nice tight fit the whole way around under my chin and it doesn't ride up into my eyeballs. So that's your third best. Now, it is this new recommendation is emerging to wear two. Okay, so if you can get a KF94 or an N95, you, that's and it fits well, that's fine. That's good enough, right? Um, if you're going to go with a surgical mask or cloth mask, 
Um, or maybe a less well-fitting cloth mask like this one. This is like sort of a stretchy material. It doesn't fit as well over my nose. Two masks, choosing any two of these would be better than one, right? And the main reason for that is it will fit tighter on your face. It'll, the fit will be better when you layer them. Um, the particles that we're exhaling have not gotten any smaller. It's just that we need to sort of double down on the fit. Okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna drop a link to this popular mechanics article that covers all of the mask types and the concept of, of wearing two masks. It's a really good roundup. Um, so those are sort of the general notes. Um, I wanted to say thanks to one of our viewers from last week, Jack from Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, noticed that I accidentally said KN94. It's KF94 or N95. And these two types of masks are, as I said, quite equivalent. N95s are hard to find and I find them uncomfortable. They do fit really well. So if you have those, that's great. If it fits well, that's great. If you can't find them, I would suggest the KF94s. Um, okay, so big picture, what's the best mask of all? The mes best mask is the one that's on your face. Okay, you should wear a mask that fits you all the way around and is comfortable enough that you're just gonna wear it without a lot of fussing around, without wanting to take it off. I personally find the KF94 masks fit me very well. They're very comfortable. My husband hates them. They ride up into his eyeballs. He can't wear them, okay? so. Um, both of us really like these origami fold fabric masks, but I had to make his like extra, extra large to fit, um, to like fit well over his ears and around the sides. So you really just want to focus on a mask that fits you well and wear it consistently in all situations where you're near other people outside your household. Okay. Outside, inside, wherever you are. How so you wear two masks. Like what's the, like, how do you get that to. So what I have seen, so we've seen some images of Dr. Fauci who's been wearing and what I have seen is the surgical mask underneath. Um, and then sort of as another layer on top of that, here's another fabric mask that I have that doesn't have an especially good fit. So put the fabric mask on top of that. Okay. Now this is, this feels like a lot of layers to me. And, um, and so, I personally would prefer the KF94 mask because it's more comfortable and I get a good fit from that. Um, the idea is not that we need like so many more layers that you can barely breathe. It's really just that we need it to fit quite, quite snugly all the way around, right? So this one, for example, I don't know if you can see, this one has um, a very good fit over my nose. My glasses don't fog because there is no air coming up through here and it goes the whole way snugly around my the sides of my face. I also like how it moves when I talk. And I could put another mask right on top of this one for, you know, just to keep it on even better. So there's not a specific recommendation about the order that we should wear them in. Um, it's basically you should wear either a respirator mask that fits you well, or any two of these other masks together. That's the current advice. Right. I mean, I may add, if you are wearing a surgical mask or a medical grade mask that you wear that first and then put the cloth mask on top because the cloth mask you, you can wash and that'll keep the medical grade mask, uh, mask so that you can continue using it. Um, and then also it gives that medical grade mass closest to your face. So it gives better filtration. Yeah, I would agree with that. So if one of your masks is a, is a surgical, surgical mask, mask yeah. put that one on first, put the cloth mask on top of that. As you said, it's sort of like that outer protective layer and then the inner filtration layer. Great. 